take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth the price you didn't pay Baby, Hey, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen Yes, indeed, it is a good, 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 good morning We're gonna get out of Karen Ford to scratch me one Yeah, we need to make our way back home sweet home guys in 100 meters yeah that's canada highway highway one. Oh and man that's really noise has got to annoy you right away first thing from the morning eh really oh well we'll get it fixed tomorrow hopefully hopefully my mechanic can find where it's coming from we had a beautiful beautiful sunrise this morning Yes, indeed it was. Took a couple of pictures of it. And even put it on Facebook there. Turn That's left. pretty nice. Pretty nice. But as soon as that sun started rising, that wind started picking up like crazy. So, I tried to fly my drone a little bit there, but uh, I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to use the footage or not. But or how it's even gonna look but we'll give it a try and <clears throat> we'll see i guess if it works or not right put our four rays on so people know that we're going slow ready should be able to get into this lane up here and then we'll hammer down towards home sweet home yes indeed I'm excited to go home. Not 21 kilometers to Moose Jaw. I think I can make it to Winnipeg with my fuel. So uh, at first I was going to stop in Moose Jaw to fuel up, but I think I'm going to see if I, I can make it either to Winnipeg or even to Steinbach and fuel it up over there. I want to just give her today. I don't really want to waste too much time. Out here today, I just want to go home, sweet home. I already wasted a little bit of time there trying to fly the drone there. I'm just kind of curious on how that's going to look on a bigger screen. But eventually we'll find out, right? We have now made it past Regina, Saskatchewan. Yes. We are definitely making good time today, that's for sure. I never did stop anywhere out there and fuel up, so uh, now we're going to have to last with this fuel until we get to, uh, at least to Winnipeg. So, uh, looks like we got uh, five hours to Winnipeg, and I think I should have enough fuel to make it up there, but yeah, I just like to fuel up back at home and have a full tank of fuel and be A-OK, -okay, right? But, yeah. Looks like uh, pretty much clear sky. I mean, a little bit of white clouds up there, but for the most part, it's a clear sky today. And very windy out of the south, though. It really is. I was hoping it was going to be a calmer day today, but not my luck today, I guess. So uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to fly the drone too much today either. Oh well, that's just the way it is. Some days you get lucky and some days you don't. Well, Saskatchewan is known to be a very windy, windy province. So, uh, I mean, we can uh, imagine. There's hardly any trees as you can see. You know, the wind is going to pick up if you don't have nothing blocking it, right? And so that's what it's always doing up here. It can be a beautiful day, but windy as heck. <laughs> yeah. well, now we're just hammering down making our way home we'll see what we will be up to at home this week I kind of just want to do a reset and go again on Friday because Friday we usually get really nice trips so hopefully uh, hopefully we get us a nice trip on Friday and get some awesome miles in because I really need some more miles 
I mean, I did really good. Today is cut off for payday. So I already called in my miles. So they have my miles that uh, I want to get paid. And I should get a pretty decent paycheck at the end of the month. But uh, if I don't continue on driving, then uh, my next paycheck would be really low, right? So I need to uh, hopefully get another nice trip here. And at the end of the month, I got to go in and get my electronic log installed. So, oh well. So I may as well work hard now. And then once that's in, then uh, well, we'll be able to work hard too, as far as I understand, because I drive legal, right? But uh, it's going to take me a day or two to get used to the system. And once we got it figured out, then we'll be good to go, right? All right, guys. We are now coming into Winnipeg, Manitoba. Yeah, and this chicken house decided to be open up here, so we got to go in here Continue and on this road for seven go kilometers. see what they want to know from us today. I hope they don't want to know anything from us today and just want to go home. I don't need them to waste my time in here today, but hey. If they do, they do, I guess. Nothing I can do about it, right? All I can do is go over the scale and find out if they're gonna wanna see me or talk to me or not, right? <laughs> Looks like he's getting the green light, but he's not moving. Oh, now he's finally moving. Yeah, he just keeps having that green light there saying depart, so I don't know. I don't know what this guy is not getting got the flashing lights and depart so why are you not departing if you got the got the light for the departing thing there so I don't get it oh well we gotta stop here and wait till he gets off the scale there we go let's get on the scale At least hi, say hi to the lady in there. Was it the DOT lady in there? Yeah. Let's hope she's gonna be nice to us. Still got the departing light on. That's good. So we'll get out of here before they change their mind, right? It's my plan, anyways. Close my window and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, let's go home. We got about an hour to make it. Uh, we got about an hour worth of driving, I meant to say, until we will get home. So, let's go. Yeah. Can't wait then. My dad might invite us for supper. We might have barbecue over there. Did I mention barbecue? <laughs> yes, I did. So, we'll find out if he actually will invite us or not, but I think he is. Welcome to Steinbach, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in our hometown. The last little stretch till we get to our yard and we'll drop this trailer and we'll be home sweet home, right? Looks like somebody is heading out, but not me, I'm coming home. You got me a pretty decent miles trip so I'm happy 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 we made it back home so that's another good thing and uh, we'll be able to uh, go drop the trailer and then I'm gonna go fuel the truck up here at the sh uh, at the shell trucks uh, shell gas station here and they got a truck wash in there as well so we're probably gonna go in there and just kind of rinse it off a little bit and make it a little bit more comfortable for uh, for my mechanic to work on it tomorrow yes indeed and I'm just looking at this guy ahead of me here that uh, one light is not working his brake light is actually working there on the on the left left hand side like on the driver's side there but the running light is not working so I don't know if he didn't do an inspection or what, but uh, he's 
Certainly he's got the one running light not working. I'm not sure where he's trying to go. He's a local... Oh, it's actually a lady. Oh, wow. Okay, well... That's good. Local, local lady delivery. Yeah. It's not going to do me very much good washing the truck. But at least I'm going to wash off the salt, you know. I really like to have that off of the truck and then take it over there to my mechanic and he can figure out what's wrong with my truck and on the exhaust pipe there and get some other stuff done on it right away too, right? That's the plan. So let's go to the terminal and take care of business. All right guys, we're back at home and we got supper prepared or the wife did. Yes, I'm more interested in this goodies over here. Holy moly. She really spoils me when I get home. Nice cake. Yeah. So let's get to eating. I'm hungry. behind me that day is gonna come 